Okay, so today's video is going to be about bougainvillea. Um, you can see this one here in flower. This is one that's fairly old, and it was almost dead, and I brought it back. Somebody was getting rid of it. Here's one that I, I got from a friend originally. I was looking at it, and I cut back the leaves, or the uh, branches fairly significantly. Um, and I was thinking about using this for bonsai. And then I realized that in reality that the base of this tree, the stem, it just, I don't know if it's a bonsai tree, it almost looks too thin and spindly. But it will probably be a beautiful plant nonetheless. However, we have this. You can see it's a very spindly, thorny plant. This is also a bougainvillea. This tree is about 50 years old, um, and I dug it up. Its roots were extensive. They were, God, they were four inches wide in some cases. Most of these roots were tap roots, and they were completely useless. But the tree had quite a few, um, uh, basically, feeder roots near the base of it, down uh, right near the base of it. So I had no problem cutting off most of the uh, major roots. And uh, I replaced it into this big bin container here. It's heavy. Uh, to try and get it to grow back out because you can see I cut well, pretty much most of the foliage off of it. But um, since I have done so, you can see all along here there are tons of these new growths coming out all over the plant. And I realize there's a lot of stump looking areas that are cut off here. But I still feel, considering this tree's size and age, that it has uh, really potential for bonsai. And I almost feel like I'm not talented enough to give this, this piece its justice. What I have recognized is that here and here, uh, there's, there's uh, patches of new growth. See you coming out of there. And on the back side of this little nub here, out of there. There's also some well out of the back side over here. And as you can see, there's quite a few out of the top of this plant. So, uh, I mean, it obviously needs to be left to grow a bit. Um, and this needs, something needs to be done with this, whether it needs to be hollowed out and uh, this up here. But I still think, again, this is a very good candidate for a, a bonsai. I actually do have an 18 inch pot uh, that I can use for this plant in the future, whenever that may be. Um, I can transplant this into that pot. But one thing I'm failing to be able to grasp is exactly what I should do with it. Um, you know, I, I could see at the top here, This is one of these three branches is definitely going to be a necessity in this tree's um, formation. Uh, probably a lot of wiring. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch of little side branches coming off of them, new shoots, so that should fill out. But I'm wondering <clears throat> whether I should just keep one of these, take one of them off, take two of them off, uh, or keep all of them and wire them in their own special and individual way to fill the tree out and whether I should do the wiring now or wait for it to grow out some more um, the tree's obviously been put under quite a bit of stress but these bougainvillea are almost unkillable I think it would be easier to wire now that there is no foliage or major branching occurring but at the same time I still have yet to be able to picture this tree so again I'll give it a wide shot there's some more clusters of branches. I'm wondering whether I should keep some, remove some, how exactly I should go about this. Um, some interesting feature right there. And then there's some, some more branching. Again, this tree is, believe it or not, healthy. It does look very decrepit, but everywhere there is new growth on this. It is spring, so... If anybody has any tips on what I should probably do with this tree, I would love to hear it. You could go ahead and comment in the comment section of this video 
um, or uh, YouTube inbox me. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, preferably um, from someone who knows a lot about bonsai a lot more than me, especially on um, the wood here and the wiring and future form of the tree. I would imagine the, the view I've been showing you from the very beginning, this view, would be the eventual front. Um, so yes, I'd love to hear your opinions and thoughts, and thank you very much for watching this video.